Hi all, uh, I am going to discuss about MapReduce Anatomy. How the MapReduce job execute uh, in the Hadoop cluster? What is the role of job tracker uh, for executing the job? And what is the role of task tracker? And how the client submit the job to the job tracker? Uh, we will see step by step uh, in this session. We can write map MR jobs in any language as a Java, as a C, C++, whatever uh, the programmer wants and in Java we we are creating job using job uh, class and we will set the parameters like uh, mapper class, reducer class, if required combiner class and uh, partitioner class after that we will set input format and after, uh, what, uh, what is output formats then we will we will run job dot wait for completion for executing the job after that what will happen how the uh, job submit to the job tracker we will see I do have a simple cluster with 10 nodes the master services like a name node and job tracker deployed in separate individual machines and remaining are data nodes already we know that we have a master services two slave services like job job tracker and name node are master services and data node and task tracker are slave services uh, I do I do have uh, 10 uh, nodes yeah, let us take a simple example. I want to run WordCode program on my Hadoop cluster. I have a Hadoop cluster with master services, job tracker and name node and slave services, task tracker and data node. I have a client for submitting my jobs to the job tracker. Whenever I call wait for completion on the job object, it won't submit the, the job to the job tracker directly. Uh, the client uh, will verify some pre-validations uh, before submitting the job to the job tracker for that wait for completion method it will call job submitter dot submit job internally method in that uh, it it will do some pre-validations like it will contact to the job tracker and it will request new job id Whenever a request came to the job tracker, job tracker will create a unique ID and it will uh, give back to the client. After that, uh, after getting the job ID, the client checks whether the output specified output folder exists or not. If it is already exists, it will throw an exception because some other previous job results may be override override if it is executes a job for that reason it terminates a job and it throws an exception and if we the if the folder already uh, does not exist then it will check number of input specified input speeds already there or not if it is there it is okay if it is not there, that that time also it will throws an exception and the job will terminated abnormally. In the next step, if uh, the both conditions are satisfied, and then it will copies all the configuration files and uh, MapReduce program jar file, and if we if we need uh, an, uh, other files for executing these jobs whatever the files like configuration files and job jar files it will copies from local to HDFS with replication factor we in the Hadoop by default uh, the replication factor is 3 so all the jar files and configuration files uh, will copy it into the Hadoop cluster with default replication factor and then the client submit the job to the job tracker Whenever client submit the job, the job will push into the job trackers, 
Q. Yeah, the job tracker maintains it will maintain a queue internally whenever job comes it will push the job into this queue and each uh, in the job tracker we have a scheduler uh, using uh, we can use either fair scheduler or uh, capacity scheduler whatever uh, we uh, we can configure uh, in the Hadoop cluster and based on that algorithm the scheduler pick the job and it pick the job and it initializes the job it initializes the job uh, using it will computes number of splits uh, available if number of splits like default input split size is 60 4 MB in the hard hope if 264 MB blocks there in the input then it will create two mappers and based on the configuration it will create reducer task and it will create job setup task and job cleanup task for setup set up the job in a data node and clean up the job after completion of these map jobs uh, cleanup job will perform and then for every task tracker will send that hot bits for every four seconds with status information what are the jobs running in that uh, node and what is the status of that if it is fail or not uh, those status will send to the job tracker for every four seconds In the next step, job tracker assigns the job, assign the mapper jobs. It will, uh, while assigning the mapper to the specify, uh, specific task tracker, the job tracker will choose uh, the ideal uh, task tracker is data local task tracker. Data local means the input splits, which what we are specifying that input splits is resides in that particular data node uh, this is called as a data local data local data locality and then whenever the job tracker uh, assigns it map at or reduce a task to the task tracker uh, it will go to the HDFS uh, Yeah, in the next step, after job tracker submitting the job, the either it can be mapper job, either it can be reducer job to the task tracker, it will uh, locate the HDFS uh, files and it will copies all the job jar files and uh, configuration files, whatever uh, other files needed for executing third job it will copy to the local data node and it will create a task runner task runner instance and it will run in a separate jail JVM process because if our own mapper or reducer task fails it will kill the process it will kill the JVM uh, if it will runs in same JVM what task tracker runs simply the task tracker will fail and it uh, terminate abnormally for that reason it will create a child JVM and it will execute the ma our mapper or reducer task while running the mapper task whatever map produces produced output will store in the the data node local file system not in the HDFS file system after map completes it will simply runs cleanup task uh, all the in the total job, all the mapper, whenever all the mappers are uh, running is complete, then only that reducer will start. Before that reducer can collect all the mapper outputs uh, to that uh, local data node and whenever all the mappers completed, the reducer will start the 
executing and it will write the output to the file and it will terminate. Uh, thanks.